This is a demonstration of the Plain Image Plugin. The Plain Image Plugin is similar to Hollow's Image to Plain uh, plugin, uh, but um, uh, I decided to make my own version since Hollow's uh, version is not working at the moment, and uh, I thought it might be easier to just implement it from scratch than to go through Hollow's code. So, uh, there are similarities and, and differences between the, the plugins. Uh, basically, what it does is it creates a plane with a texture on it that you can use for uh, building or even during um, runtime, you can use it uh, to create things like grass or mud or whatever on, um, uh, on flat surfaces uh, instead of having to use um, tiles or props or minis. Okay. So, uh, to <clears throat> by default, F10 is the key for adding a plane. It's going to ask me now well, what the name of the image is. Uh, this is using file access plugins, so you can just give it a um, name. You don't need the full path um, as long as the image is somewhere in a file access uh, plugin legal location. So I am going to go with plane one, Boom. and there we go. We've got a plane that appears here. Um, the planes are subject to um, lighting, so I will adjust. There we go. Okay, so here's our plane. Um, so this plane is being transmitted to all other players. Um, if we're doing any kind of updates on the plane, like moving it or sizing it, uh, which we can do in runtime, uh, the moving and sizing will happen on the local side only, and then once the user stops updating, that's when it's sent to the other players. So the user will get a smooth experience, the other players will get kind of a snap to whatever the last um, update was. Okay, <clears throat> so here we've got a plane. Um, we can hit the F2 key by default for um, movement. Uh, so we can see uh, as soon as we switch to movement mode on, um, it tells us that we've got one plane. Uh, that plane is named plane one. It just uses the, the texture for the name. Uh, we are in move mode, and here's our position, and here's our size. Uh, this will stay up while we are in move mode because move mode disables all other um, keys used by the game. <clears throat> so this is a reminder that right now if I try to do, do any other keys, um, it, they won't be any of the game keys won't work um, so while this is up that's kind of um, telling you um, all keys are being diverted to the move mode here so now we do have two speeds of move we can move with the arrow keys uh, left right up down and you can see that it is moving very slowly and I also can't hold the key I have to actually press each time to move it a little bit that's the fine adjustment. If you want to move it uh, quickly, you can hold the left control, and now not only does it move uh, faster, but you can also hold the key and it will continue to move until you like, let go. And once again, um, all of that is happening locally, and then once uh, the user stops pressing any keys, a uh, couple of seconds later, the updates are sent to the players. So the players will also have um, the size and location uh, shared. Okay, so let's move that out of the way here. So you can see now if I press like the L key here for, for a flashlight, none of that is working because I am in move mode. Uh, I can hit F2, uh, which was the key to get into move mode to get back out. It is a toggle. Um, and now we can demonstrate size mode. So size mode is F3 by default. Same thing, uh, you will see that it identifies that we have one plane. Um, we have uh, the plane. The current plane that's selected is plane one. Uh, that's, again, the name based on the texture. We're in size mode, and there's our position, and there's our size. So now, similarly, if I arrow key up, it will make the height increase. If I arrow down, it will make the height decrease. Uh, left uh, will make the um, width decrease, right will make the width increase, and if you want to scale up or down both sides at the same time, you can use the up arrows 
uh, sorry, uh, the um, page up and page down keys will scale both sides. And same thing there, if you hold control, you can do that much quicker. Um, if you do not hold control, then you have to ratchet through the um, smaller uh, implementations. All right, so that's um, that's move and um, and size. Uh, again, with move mode, uh, it is up, down, right, left, and then if you want height, it's page up and page down. Okay, so that's uh, one plane, but um, with these, this plugin, you can have multiple planes. So let's add another plane. Uh, plane 2. Okay, now we have a second plane. Uh, I can move it over a bit. And now if I want to toggle between them, the default key is F1. And you can see that down here, um, we get that we're in plane 1 or plane 2. Um, if you, again, if you have move mode or size mode on, this stays here up all the time, uh, basically warning you that keys are not, uh, game keys are not going to work, uh, that it's currently in move or size mode. If you are not in a size mode and you do a toggle of the planes, it will tell you which plane you're on and hold it for about three seconds before um, making that go away. So that kind of tells you which one you've selected. Um, when you have a plane selected, you can hit the delete key and that will delete it. And you can also retexture your uh, your plane. So if I've got this one uh, and I want to retexture it, the default for retexture is F11. Um, and I'm going to go that with second floor. So plane one, and I've retextured it. So that's pretty well it. Uh, we've got the Add, delete, retexture, uh, toggle between the planes, move mode, and size mode. And that's about it.